Well, it's a potential COVID-19 treatment that researchers say typically takes years to develop. But Tuesday, the National Institutes of Health announced the launching of two advanced trials testing synthetic antibodies in patients with COVID-19. Mandy Gaither has more in today's Health Minute. It's extremely scary. But LaCrista and Aaron Bishop have hope that new research will help in the battle against COVID-19, an illness the Texas couple is all too familiar with. Recovering from it, we know the severity of it. And, and I'll just say it, I mean, I thank God every day that he kept us in the midst of all of this, that we were able to become survivors and not experience the things that others have experienced. Now researchers with the National Institutes of Health are seeking more than 200 volunteers who have COVID-19 symptoms and have tested positive but are not hospitalized. They'll be invited to take an experimental therapy. Scientists were able to isolate an antibody from a blood sample in a COVID-19 survivor and make a copy of it in a lab. They're hoping the man-made antibodies can shorten the severity of COVID-19 and interfere with the virus's ability to in fact, the second phase of the trials are expected to be done in eight weeks, and researchers should know by October or November if the therapeutic works. It's exciting to identify that as an opportunity. The bishops both plan to donate their plasma, hoping to do their part in future research. For today's Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.